All right, good morning, America. Good morning, world. We're out here today, and we're looking for a gypsum claim. We are out in the middle of absolute nowhere. I walked like three miles off the road. So I haven't found it yet, but I found this old cattle farm. So this is out in the middle of absolute nowhere. And it doesn't look like anyone's been here for a minute. You know, I can't tell by the barbed wire how old it is. I'm not a barbed wire expert, but this goes for quite a ways. Now, I, the coordinates that I got from the state that I was told to come check on are at the back of this cattle farm, okay? So, and they don't lead me anywhere. So if I had to venture a guess, it's probably over there. So I'm going to walk all the way back. But I wanted to show you this because, you know, this is kind of cool. You're out in the middle of nowhere. You're out here looking for a super old claim. And uh, see, the story is that I got is that a fire, big forest fire came through where I live about... 2002, so about 20 years ago, and it burned a lot of stuff, a lot of acres, and it burned out here. You wouldn't know it now, but you see the spaces of the trees, how there's nothing in the middle? Yeah, fire just burned right through it, and I saw evidence coming in of burned trees, so, so I think the wildland firefighters found something, you know, while they were burning, put the coordinates down, and left. So I don't even know how old this claim is, but I had a free day, believe it or not, in my life, which I don't have too many of. But see that? So I figured while I was over here, I'd show you this. I have no idea how old it is. I saw some nails. Could be 70s, 80s. You know, I didn't see any anything in here. Alive, meaning like cows, horses. I haven't even seen an elk. But like I said, this is just a, a fun video that I thought you guys might enjoy. Of out in the middle of nowhere, you come across this, which is super pretty because of the snow. But I walked over there and there's water. Here's the road that I don't know where it goes. I walked, you know... A long way to get out here. You know, I saw saw the dot on the map on my phone. And I just blazed through it. You know, I'm not one of those people that walk around the lake. I go through the lake. But anyway. You know, when you're out walking in the woods getting some exercise. You see cool things. And this might still be used. I mean, there's no really evidence that it's not. But it's also the dead, dead of winter. And, uh. You know, they just might not be out here. I don't know. I haven't talked to anybody. But I'm not going on their property. Because I don't do that. And I didn't have to go on anyone's property. That's where I came from. Anyone's property to get out here. So we're going to go back to where the coordinates told me to go. And then we're going to venture over here. Because the mud, the road is like three miles that way. So I don't have to worry about getting lost. But like I said, when you're always out here in the wilderness, I know there's water there. And I'll find something to burn water in if I get desperate. And uh, we just had two cold days of like six, seven, and eight degrees. Right after Christmas. It's uh, January 3rd. But if I had to venture a guess, it's over there. You know, I don't know how they mine gypsum. I just thought I'd show up here and it would tell me and I'd learn something because no one really tells me anything. They just say, hey, here's some coordinates. Go check it out. Tell us what you find. Okay. But it's pretty cool walk. I'm about a thousand feet lower than where I live, so it's easier to breathe. This is a big old farm. 
cattle farm or horse farm or something. But I just wanted to show you. I haven't found any signs yet saying it like, oh, it belongs to this guy or this family or this corporation or company. So, you know, could be old. I mean, looking at the wood here doesn't really tell you anything because it could have been there for 20, 30 years. All right, people. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going over there. And we're going to go look for evidence of something that I cannot find. Thank you very much for watching, peoples.